What is up guys, welcome in, my name is Nick and welcome to the channel. Now you join me at a track I don't go to very often, uh, Homestead Miami is definitely not one of my favourite tracks here. We are in the touring car lobby behind the wheel of the trusty Peugeot as usual and just completing our first flying lap here for qualifying and it is not a particularly good one with a 139.2. Obviously it is visibly very wet out there at the moment so we are going to be getting three laps here on the wet. So we've got a much more competitive second lap going through still, only good enough for P7 but a near one. 0.7 second improvement a further three tenths sees us into p5 initially on the road for qualifying however by the time that everyone else puts all of their times in we will be dropping it down to p6 for the start of the race so yeah we, as you saw from the title we are going to be having some pretty good results here in this race gonna have to suffer through a little bit of miami it's not going to be one of the greatest ones but trust me the good stuff is coming shortly so just before we get underway i do want to say thank you to the new channel members thank you very much for joining up it does mean a lot to me and uh yeah i hope you enjoy this one heading to the grid here it's going to be wet once again so we're going to be starting on the wet tires looking to see if we can just stay on the road generally that's the best thing in wet weather so we get a um a good start off of the grid here we've got uh, some mgs and an audi in front of us we've got one of the pressure leading the way as well so we're going to put ourselves on the outside going to turn two technically and completely miss our breaking point and slide off the road so there goes that whole keeping it on the road thing out the window by the time we get to turn three so a little bit of tap as we rejoin and we are near as makes no difference last position there's one person behind us but we can see already got cars off into the grass on the right hand side he comes sliding in we're already standard for a rejoin we've got cars all over the place we've got a couple more people having a bit more of an instant on the right hand side coming down into the double right hander being nice and conservative on the brakes letting them sort out all the issues they want to sort out one guy going very deep on the brakes there on the left one guy rejoining in the standard falls away a little bit of discord bloop there someone messaged me as i was recording apologies for that as we come through the second part of the right hander we see all the sort of cars disappear appeared um, all around us parting the seas like Moses does and we end up coming into P11 we're around the outside coming into the tight left hander not quite able to hang it around there quick enough to make the position so we're just going to slot in behind here we are in the middle of the train a little bit as we come into the sweep and left hander here the guy seems to cut the curb in pretty aggressively yet seems to escape without any form of penalty so I'm not quite sure how he managed to do that but well done to you sir we cut a little bit of the grass here on the chicane before the start line and we get up nearly a second penalty so yeah i'm not really sure how that came about but it did yet more drama happening in front of us with people missing breaking points and sliding back of each other we have someone bashed into the back of us we've made it all the way up to p11 we've forced onto the grass on the inside here for turn three onto the right hander and we've got someone being muscled out onto the grass we're going to take that free position up to p10 just to see behind the civic just going to make sure that we can get in behind him he's a bit tight coming through the first part we get a little tap from the mg behind us see it runs a bit deep bit late on getting power so we just power up the right hand side here through the apex take the apex there for ourselves and we're up to p9 so we're just going to see if we can settle in here coming into the beginning of lap three the purple audi wheel behind it gets all kinds of out of shape misses the breaking point completely ends off into the grass on the right hand side so we are now up to p8 we get a bit of a funny bounce coming off of the banking into the infield section here and that sends us off into the grass unfortunately where we're going to drop a couple of positions quick pick behind us to make sure we're not going to be driving in into when yours rejoin and we only managed to actually drop only one position there down to p9 we are pretty quickly onto the back of the group once again as we are now in the sort of middle part of lap five we get a much better run out of the second part of the right hander we get squeezed to the right hand side here before the tight left hander coming back onto the banking the guy does exactly what he should do uh tried to break early and get the switch back but he parks himself on the apex there so great defending from him however coming to the start of lap six he does the same thing the audi did the lap prior misses his breaking point and drives straight off into the grass so that is a free position coming through the double right hander on the infield section we see a mg rejoining from the grass here so he is very slow we're seeing if we have enough closing distance to maybe get a move done coming into the tight left hander but not quite close enough so we have to sit here back in p8 he immediately pits at the end of lap seven the rain is starting to get a lot lighter the tires are starting to wear out a bit so we go one more lap here at the beginning of lap eight as we see the leader pitting there now in p2 so we're just dripping to moderate tire wear coming into the end of lap nine so we've just been driving around sort of keeping it safe for about a lap or so but as you can see the weather is a lot lighter now than it was when we started and as we come through the final complex here onto the start finish straight we try to keep it left to get into the pit lane however someone apparently is already there and just decides to spin me out rather than maybe thinking that the guy ahead of them who hasn't pit yet might need to pit for tires so as it's drying up we're going to go for softs it looks dry enough to go for that so we're going to hopefully see if we can get a couple of quick laps in and make some last minute positions as we're in pit lane this is the time where i would ask you to please drop me a like leave me a comment and subscribe if you are enjoying this for plenty more content in the future so we rejoin in p8 so we are 
are basically the same position that we were when we went in before the pit stops happened. A little bit of light rain still on the track, but nothing major. These tyres seem to be gripping up pretty nicely. We're going to get them moved done straight away here up to P7, put ourselves on the inside of the right hand. Oh, hit the guy on the outside, just turns in, obviously didn't realise I was making the move and gets forced off a little bit. But that's really going to be the only thing here coming to the end of lap 11, final lap of the race. The only thing we've got is to see if we can get within 0.6 of a second of the guy in front as we've got a 0.9 of a second penalty and he's got a one and a half second. It was pretty damn close there but unfortunately we weren't quite able enough to steal sixth position away from him so settling for p7 we dropped one place based on our starting position but still a pretty good finish considering at the beginning of lap one we were off into the grass and the total difference check in there on the timing screen the difference between sixth and seventh was by about five thousandths of a second so very very close indeed uh, for the next one we will be moving into road america and i must admit taking the peugeot out around here it was feeling absolutely amazing to be honest everything i wanted it to do it was doing pretty much perfectly tires have had some good grip on it we uh, only had time for one qualifying lap as i came into the session with about seven minutes left did a couple of bits of practice just to make sure it was running fine you see currently pole is 224 but we should be able to clear that by a good amount there by a 221.8 so a just under two and a half seconds ahead there at the front of the grid there's only about two minutes left in terms of final qualifying time so it was that one chance opportunity we did still manage to keep hold of pole position there even if someone did slot themselves in between us so we will be starting from the front of the grid we've got a gaggle of mgs and audis behind us so some very quick cars in a straight line just looking to see if we can get into turn one ahead and as we get off the line nice and clean we're going to be heading down in towards turn one the mg is starting to catch up through the second phase of the start as we come into Towards the corner here we keep the inside a little bit of a tap from the mg as he tries to slide in behind us misjudges the gap a little bit but we are crucially ahead coming through here as we come into turn two we missed the breaking point a little bit gets a little bit slidey here we are on the hard tires which i didn't really get a feel for a little bit of a tap from the mg behind us which spins us around but a bit of power brings the nose back around to keep us pointing in the right direction so coming down the back straight the mg has managed to sneak ahead with his better straight line speed we are on the inside the um, other mg who was in third just decides to turn into me but apparently i do not exist we managed to maintain p2 we just slot in behind the mg in front of us to make sure we don't run too slowly through this infield section here and as we come down the hill into the left hander before the carousel section we do manage to close up a little bit on the brakes to give us a better run through the long right hander before the long back straight at the end of the straight we are closing up again under brakes we do seem to have a lot more confidence in our stopping power than the guy in front he runs a bit deep through the runoff area not enough to dirty the lap but definitely using a lot of it there coming into the final corner we put ourselves on the left hand side to get a nice wide entry into the final corner to get a good run up the hill we get a much better run through the corner than the mg in front does he was a bit out of shape on entry and we're looking to see if we can pick up a good bit of slipstream as we go up the hill across the line as we enter the braking zone for turn one we managed to close the gap right up there so we're just within two tenths of a second just looking to see if we can carry as much speed through these first couple of corners this right hand here is very crucial to get right because it gives you a lot more speed down this back straight so we managed to get away onto the curb there we get a nice exit using just enough runoff there to make sure we have a nice smooth run onto the power we're going to sit ourselves into the slipstream and as we get down towards the braking zone we're going to poke up the inside and we're just going to be using our much better brake confidence to put it in here holding the apex the guy tries to switch back on the inside but we've got a lot better drive out of the corner we're going to put ourselves in the middle of the track just to incentivize there's no dive we're going to turn in a little bit too early runs a little bit out of shape through the corner there the guy again trying for the cutback behind us we're just going to hold it to the inside side he doesn't try and sling it around the outside he does wait and we manage to secure that position as we come into the downhill braking section braking nice alerty around the two board turning in getting as much of the apex as we can on the power nice and smoothly we're going to be running through the carousel section now my line is a bit different i go out a little bit wider here a little bit wider than i was really intended to be honest we do get a nice cut back down here towards the exit so we can make sure we get on the power nice and early and we manage to hold throttle all the way through the exit we manage to start gapping the guy all the way down to the kink here we get a little bit of a confidence lift just to bring the nose in but we do manage to gap the guy behind us now by about half a second already over those last couple of corners coming into the final corner with about eight tenths of a second up we get a nice wide entry a little bit of lift off oversteer but not enough to worry about nice smooth run through the corner here using as much curb as we needed to increasing the gap to about a second and then by the end of the next lap we are about two and a half seconds up nearly three seconds and if you can just see in the rearview mirror the guy is peeling off into the pit so it looks like we managed to hold position with him he's either on mediums and burnt through him very quickly or starting the race in 
and softs because he only managed to get three laps out of that one but we are just going to be now managing this gap it's just about staring ahead as we go through here on the end of lap four beginning of lap five we do actually put in a time quicker than our qualifying time almost here at 221s and that's on the hards so we are running very very well at the moment now we're settling into our groove we pit at the end of lap five to do two laps on the softs here and by that time we've gapped by about 16 seconds the car behind us but the guy in third is the guy who was behind us and we've already got that 30 second window so we should be coming out comfortably ahead especially now we're going to be on a quicker tires as well so as we come out of the pit lane we have a quick check behind us just to make sure we've got no one immediately running down the start finish straight we get a nice clear run out of there and by the time we get through the first couple of corners and the game is caught up we have a nine second window to the guy behind which we increased by the end of that lap to 11.6 and now we're going to be going for a new fastest lap on this one here so we're looking to see if we can get some good runs through these corners tell them everyone a little bit deep on the brakes we managed to recover it so it's not too bad of a run but not the greatest we are still up by about 0.14 of a second by the time we get through the end of the back straight and the squiggly bits 0.8 of a second up a full second gain from that through carousel out of the final corner we're going to be 2.7 second improvement over our fastest time on hards and that's going to put us through for a fastest lap which is going to be probably about a 218 so a 218 5 something like that but just for confirmation here we go you can see we are finishing nice and clearly ahead in p1 beating the mgs and taking a top step in this one here so nice easy run here it's it wasn't really too much to worry about after sort of lap two and as you can see by the end of it we were about three seconds a lap quicker by our fastest time and we're finishing about 17 seconds ahead of the pack so a nice comfortable win there and one of the first ones in touring cars for me as well first one in this series so we'll move now to the new track for update for daytona we've already done this once in the master it didn't go fantastically and uh, we've done a pretty good first qualifying attempt here at 157 flat we're about second off pole but we do manage to find three or four tenths coming through the first bit of the infield section coming out of the bus stop chicane we're about four and a half tenths up something like that and as we cross the line we do manage to improve by nearly six tenths so not quite pole but we are getting another front row start at p2 with a time that was about three four tenths off of pole so not bad at all pretty comfortable second i think the closest person behind us was about half a second as well so starting from the front row the main thing you gotta worry about on daytona when you're starting here is to slide too much when you're on the banking so setting off we do manage to get a pretty good start not too much wheel spin we do slide down the banking a little bit but not as bad as the mg in front of us so he managed to drop onto the apron so we managed to get a good run down into turn one we do get pushed off completely into the runoff air on the outside there so not much we can do about that we're just trying to keep as much speed and momentum as we can without running too wide we managed to slot back in in p3 so when you lose one position coming through the first series of corners coming into the right hander we don't get the greatest to run we drop back a little bit from the guys ahead we were pushed wide a bit on the apex there not quite sure why these guys were breaking so early coming into this right hander but we will just stay around on the outside see if it gets all kind of wrong and that pushes the mg wide as well so we're going to be the beneficiary of that and we're going to take p1 into the start of this race here coming out of the end of lap one about 1.2 seconds clear the slipstream is very strong around Daytona as you can see the Civic behind us is already closed in by about half a second not helped by the moment that we have midway through the bus stop that closes him up by another couple of seconds another couple of tenths as you can see coming out of the bus stop he's close right up and he's going to go high to use the extra overspeed from the slipstream to drive completely around my outside we're going to slot behind him just so we can see if we can gain a little bit of the slipstream coming into turn one we managed to break a bit later than he does we get it just about hold it on to the track and um, we are closing the gap right up there to just about three tenths through that after about the infield the first bit of the infield section where that gap is maintained so we'll get lapping pretty consistently we're just going to see if we can be the beneficiary of the slipstream so coming through the first bit of the bank and we managed to get a fair bit of overspeed coming down off of that onto the back straight so we're just going to pull out see if we can get up the inside here before bus stop breaking around the crane putting ourselves on the inside hugging the curb there not having too much for a moment this time dropping down a third to get some good drive out of the corner and we'll manage to hold on to p1 but as i said the slipstream in this place is very strong you can see the guy behind me giving me a little bump draft here so he managed to close up about half a second just on this rear bit of banking he backs out very early into turn one so we managed to hold position there thanks from that guy to make sure he doesn't go into the back of me not the greatest of turns but as you can see by the end of lap four he's doing the overspeed here but he's actually going to be pitting so he's going to go from the right to the left not wasn't say i'm uh, particularly happy with that move when he did it but 
no we managed to do it without worrying too much we went for another couple of laps holding p1 so we're just going to look to see where we come out after running on these hard tires dropping back to softs and uh, just going to see if we can come out close to if not ahead of that civic as you can look behind us to see where he is he's just going to be diving around us onto turn one here it's not the greatest of exits out of the pit lane it must be said it's kind of sketchy especially when there's a lot of traffic but we managed to be about three seconds ahead of the guy behind us so slot into p2 we managed to close up a load here through the right hander just in the second part of the infield section coming back towards the bank and we get a much better drive out of the corner we're going to put ourselves up the inside dive there a little bit later breaks a little bit of a lock up midway through we leave plenty of space though and uh, we managed to get that move done before we get back onto the bank King. and now it's just going to be hoping to see if we can hold out from the slipstream we're not going to be able to unfortunately in this one he gets a much better run like we did into the bus stop so we're going to just hold it onto the outside he puts his car right where he needs to to stop me from turning in he gets a little bit of a moment this time coming through the bus stop but we are going to see if we can be the beneficiary of the slipstream as we get back round towards the start finish straight he decides to put himself onto the right hand side we're going to go low keeping it off of the apron though to make sure we don't get too unbalanced he slots in behind us and he's going to give us a little tap this one on the banking was not great to be honest it was pretty unstabling for the car coming through there it gives us another tap as we come past the entrance to the pit lane the main thing i'm thinking is i need to be ahead coming into turn one which we are because i'm on the soft tires if he was ahead he could have slowed me down really neutralized the benefit of my tires through this section here so we managed to stay ahead about half a second ahead into turn three not quite sure what happened here i'm not sure if he lost it missed his breaking point was expecting more from his tires or if it was intentional but yeah we managed to maintain that position there about a second up coming into the final uh, turn before the banking once again he gets his breaking point completely out of shape and he drops by about a second back from us as we get onto the banking here so we are going to be pulling away on this one here he's not going to get the benefit of the slipstream we're going to be taking the bus stop nice and smoothly not making any dramas now keep an eye to the right hand side there's a very fast blind civic and he ends up getting disqualified so we are going to get p1 back by virtue of that disqualification which we had anyway and we're going to get our second straight win so a pretty good outing in this one it must be said we managed to beat all the mgs in all the lobbies and um, that civic should have had an easy p2 i'm not really sure why he decided to cut the chicane he could have had a p2 there quite comfortably but we are going to take that from him anyway i know what you're asking what does this do in terms of our skill rating so i am very happy to say we have just peaked across the 4.9k mark so we are now 4908 and we did manage to get quite a comfortable uh, victory in the end by about five seconds so there wasn't really anyone too much around but if if you did enjoy this one guys do click on the video on screen now if you do and want to see some more touring car actions and i will catch you in the next one cheers